The INA Security Junior Penetration Tester EJPT is a great certification to prove foundational ethical hacking skills. If you're wondering if the certification is right for you, you've came to the right place. Hi, my name is Kaiser Clark. I'm a cybersecurity professional, more specifically a penetration tester. I have six years of experience in the field, 11 certifications, and a Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity Management and Policy. In this video, we're going to talk about what the EJPT is, who is it for, how it stacks up to other certifications, how to prepare for the EJPT, and at the very end of the video, we're going to talk about if the EJPT is worth it. So make sure you stick around to the end to see my final verdict. I'm confident that you'll learn a lot about the EJPT in this video, so do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more cybersecurity and hacking content. JPT is a hands-on entry-level red team certification that simulates skills utilized during real-world engagements. INE Security's EJPT is for entry-level penetration testers that validates that the individual has the knowledge, skills, and abilities required to fulfill the role as a junior penetration tester. This certification exam covers assessment methodologies, host and network auditing, host and network penetration testing, and web application penetration testing. This exam is designed to be a first milestone certification for anyone with little to no experience in cybersecurity simulating the skills utilized during real-world engagements. This exam truly shows that a candidate has what it takes to be a part of a high-performing penetration testing team. So this is coming from INE's website, and for the most part, I do agree with everything it's saying in here. However, I fundamentally disagree with the fact that this should be the first milestone certification for someone with little to no experience in cybersecurity. And the reason why I say that is because this certification, even though it's on the junior level for penetration testing, it's actually a intermediate certification for cybersecurity as a whole. So I highly recommend having at least one, maybe two certifications under your belt before you go after this one. And I also disagree with the notion that this certification will help you join a high performing penetration testing team. So a lot of job descriptions aren't asking for this certification. And if you have a certification, more than likely you won't be able to find your way into a full time penetration testing role. I do think the EJPT is a great certification. However, it's not going to help you land your first job. EJPT is more to help you get the advanced certifications more than anything else. It says here that the EJPT certification is for individuals with basic understanding of network systems and an interest in penetration testing. So it says you need to have a background in networks and systems, but then it says it's for entry level. So it, it gives you a little mixed signals. You do have to have a lot of prerequisite knowledge before you even go after this course because this course doesn't teach you the fundamentals of networking. It doesn't teach you fundamentals of Linux. It doesn't teach you the fundamentals of Windows. And overall, I do not think that this is an entry level certification. Like I said before, this is, in my opinion, an intermediate certification. It is a junior level penetration testing certification, but penetration testing is on the high end of skill sets in IT. So overall, as far as IT and cybersecurity goes, this is probably an intermediate certification. So according to INE, this is for system administrators, IT project managers, information security officers, security engineers, analysts, DevOps software developers, managed service providers, and managed security service providers. So I would throw in aspiring penetration testers. I don't know why they didn't put that in here, but if you're aspiring to be a penetration tester, this is a great certification to go after. If you are trying to break into the field of cybersecurity as a defender, this probably isn't a good stop for a second or third certification. I would recommend going after the defensive side of things first. And once you get established in the defensive cybersecurity and you want to level up your skills, EJPT is the perfect certification to go after if you want to learn more about how ethical hacking works and learn about the hacker mindset without fully dedicating yourself to the red team side of things. As someone who has passed the EJPT exam, I can confidently say that the EJPT exam is indeed very hands-on. There are multiple choice questions on the exam, however, you can't get those answers unless you do some sort of hands-on activity. They give you 48 hours to do the exam and it's not proctored. In my experience, 48 hours is more than enough. It took me about 16 hours to do the exam and actually took me longer than I wanted it to take. So you shouldn't feel rushed while you're doing the exam. Also, the exam does not require a report, which is actually a bad thing in my opinion because reporting is so crucial to the field of penetration testing. In my opinion, the EJPT can really only be compared to three other certification exams and that is the EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, CompTIA Pentest Plus, and a TCM Security Practical Junior Penetration Tester. Now, I do have the EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker and CompTIA Pentest Plus. However, I do not have TCM Security's Junior Penetration Tester, so I can't speak too much on it, but I will speculate on it as much as I can. As far as these certifications go, there is one that stands out above the rest in terms of what employers are asking for on job postings, and that is the CEH. CEH is one of the most in-demand certifications on the market right now, and I think that's very unfortunate because I think the CEH is very 
very overrated and it does get a lot of flack and for good reason. I'm not going to bash the CEH too much in this video, however I don't think the CEH is nearly as good as it once was and every certification in this comparison is better than the CEH in my opinion. Conti Apentes Plus is a very good certification. It is better than CEH because it is a fraction of the cost and plus it does have some practical elements to it and it's not all Marvel Choice questions. The Pentes Plus does a lot of things right in my opinion and it is a good precursor to EJPT but EJPT is actually significantly harder than Pentes Plus so note that before you go for these certifications that EJPT out of CEH and Pentest Plus is a lot harder and a lot more practical than those two. When it comes to TCM Security's Practical Junior Penetration Tester, once again, I don't have the certification, I've never done the exam, but doing my research, it does seem very practical because it doesn't have any multiple choice questions and it does require a report at the end. And one negative thing about the EJPT that I recently found out, so when I first got the EJPT, it was a good for life certification, but they randomly changed it out of nowhere and now it expires after three years. So I reached out to INE security support and I asked them how I could renew it. And most certification bodies allow you to renew certifications with other certifications. For example, CompTIA would let you renew a certification if you go get like an offset cert. Or like if you have a Cisco certification, you could get a higher level certification and renew your lower level certification. However, with INE certifications, you can't renew your certification with any other certification, including INE certifications, which I find that very frustrating, very annoying, and honestly, I scratched my head at that decision. So because of that, I can't really recommend EJPT as much as I used to, because honestly, there's no point in renewing the EJPT, because the EJPT isn't listed on job postings, as I said earlier in this video. The EJPT is great for helping you learn and get higher level certifications for example, I use EJPT to get the OSCP, that's the OFSEC Certified Professional, which is the most in-demand certification on the market for penetration testing roles. And now that I have OSCP, I don't need EJPT on my resume at all. So I honestly do not need to renew the certification. So I think EJPT is losing out on a lot of money because of this, because I would gladly get one of the higher level INE certifications to renew my EJPT. But if I can't renew my EJPT with a higher level certification, I don't see the point in even going for one of the higher level certifications, especially since there are other certifications that are more prominent in our industry. And because of TCM, Junior Penetration Testing Certification, requires a report at the end, it's good for life, and it doesn't have multiple choice questions, and it's actually cheaper to get. I do think that the TCM Junior Penetration Test Certification is better than INE Security EJPT. So if I had to make a tier list out of Junior Penetration Test Certifications, I would go like this. It would go TCM, PJPT, INE, EJPT, CompTIA Pentest Plus, and in last place I will put EC Council CEH. I honestly wish the TCM Security Junior Penetration Tester certification existed back when I got the EJPT, but at the time when I got EJPT, EJPT was the best option for this skill level. Which is why I really like the EJPT certification, because EJPT is really the main thing that helped me prepare for the OSCP certification and I think TCM Security's Junior Penetration Test Certification would do just the same thing. However, since it's less cost, it's more practical and it never expires, it seems like it's a much better bang for your buck and a better use of your time. But before going after the EJPT, this is what I would recommend. I would recommend going after the CompTIA Network Plus, then getting CompTIA Security Plus, and then learning Linux in whatever way you want. I did the Linux Plus. And then you could go after the CompTIA Pentest Plus because I do think CompTIA Pentest Plus bridges the gap between Security Plus and EJPT, but you can't get away with skipping it if you want. And once you have this foundational skills, you can dive into the EJPT course. The course is gonna show you everything you need to know to pass the exam. So if you take good notes and you pay attention and you actually do the exercises with the course, you should be good to go in terms of the exam. If you're showing with the course, I would recommend taking a pause and going after some of the foundational knowledge. But if you're doing the course and you understand everything that's going on in the course, then you are more than prepared for the real exam. To pass the exam, you need to get 70% or higher, and you will get your exam results as soon as you submit your exam. And if you pass, you'll get your certification as soon as you submit the exam. Lastly, let's talk about, is the EJPT worth it? And the answer is yes. So the certification costs like 200 bucks, and then the course is like $30 a month. You can get the course in two or three months, so you're looking at $30 to $60 in course material and then another $200 for the certification exam. You do get two certification exam attempts with that $200. So it is a very good bang for your buck. 
However, on the flip side, TCM Securities Junior Penetration Tester is also $200, but that also includes the course. And you also get two exam attempts with TCM's certification. So overall, EJPT is worth it, but I do think that TCM Securities Junior Penetration Tester is a more better bang for your buck right now. However, that can change in the future, so I highly recommend going out and do your own research and coming up with your own conclusion as everything in this video is my own opinion regardless of your choice of ejpt or pjpt you're going to want to get a higher level certification such as the oscp and if you're interested in the oscp and you want to learn how i passed the oscp on my first try check out this video